Okay, this is our Red Grand Champion Drive. We have our Calf Champion. Calf Champion is uh, Okay, our calf champion was um, our red calf champion. Joyce Custom Fitter showing the CT Red Hot Rhino. This is a CT Mr. Elmo Rhino son out of CT Madame Bordeaux. And then in our intermediate division, we have the Dietering Bull. Dearing branded bull. This is um, Collins. We had done much hand clapping. I hadn't kind of asked for much hand clapping today, but I know it takes a lot of people to put on a show like this. And uh, thank the office staff that stayed fairly to the end. They did more than nothing but nice to me. And nice to me. I don't see them in the contract like I should. You know, I still let me judge the show. And I hope they still pay me because I need some money to get there and here back out of that. I don't really care. Uh, but. Uh, you people, y'all got a great read, and, and I can't tell you how many times I've told the people that I guess I've been judging these things quite a while, and uh, the count are getting so much better. And I'll tell you this, where I think we're getting the best end is in the red division. I really think we're at the point, who cares what color they are? Line them up and show them. I think this red gallery is being great. I see different colors from different breeds, so in my opinion, let's see who the real grizzly bear is. Let's line up and go like I did when we was kids. Ain't that right, Joyce? Mr. Brent's been hanging with the grace. It's me. I tell my kids, I ain't a cattle racist. I don't give a damn what color they Okay? And so, proud of you, Red Breeders. You've done a hell of a job in bringing out good cattle. The one that wins the youngest cattle division, I think, is one that's got a muscle shape. It's a clean pattern. It's athletic. It's useful. Young lady, he's on this here one day. If I'm on the show ring, I'll look at him pretty hard. I won't remember, and that's my downfall. I can't remember what I did in the week to week of these shows. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. But I won't remember it, but I'll find it. Trust me, I'll find it. The one that comes in the second class is one that I like him standing still. Love him standing still. He's hard headed and lazy, I know that, because he's got the big case he should walk with you. I don't understand that. He is special, but I don't care. As I said, I'm not a cow racist. I don't care what color they are. He's big top, big in the balance. Whoever read this one needs to be proud of. The one that comes out of the third division is one that I said he's not the heaviest muscle, but he's the right kind of muscle. He's honest muscle. What he has is muscle, not fat. And if he's that big, big body and that balance with not much fat, they could never be getting fat out there. You know what I'm trying to tell you? But he gets wider as he goes down to the lower part of the skeleton. I like that. And remember, I learned that from Paul's. And I'm telling you, if y'all get out looking at different species of animals, you learn about yours, and maybe how to correct yours that much better. And the one that wins our senior commission, I like looking at this one. I just like looking at him. Why? Because he's balanced. Why? Because he's big rib. Why? He's big rib in his last rib. Why? Because he's thick and he carries him down deep. The only thing I really changed on the rest of old test is it dropped down a little bit. This hope he's fertile, and I know it probably is, because he seems like he should be. He's the one I like best. I'm going to look at him in the backdrop here in a minute, and he's your champion. Okay, our grand champion is going to be the uh, Herzog Bull. That is going to be the Maximus son. So coming in for uh, reserve consideration is going to be another Maximus son. I like to set a pattern when I judge a show. I like for them to all look alike. I like to ask which bull I'm standing with in the backdrop because if they look that similar real close, you're reserved. Right? And reserve is going to be uh, the other senior bull. So our senior bull is the other senior bull. So our senior champion bulls were grand and reserve grand here at the State Fair of Louisiana, which was our national show. So our champion is going to be the Mr. CBR 867, I'm sorry, 667 over 8. That's going to be Mr. WCC Maximus Rojo out of Mr. CBR Viva. And then our reserve champion is going to be the, oh wait, I lied. 
Nope, I'm right. Sorry, wrong page. Turning the pages too fast. Okay, let's try this again. We're in the Grand Champion Drive for the Gray Bulls. Gray Bulls Grand Champion Drive. And as I was saying, sorry about that, got myself confused. So the two Maximus Sons that were the Senior Division Champion and Reserve Champion were Grand and Reserve Grand. All right, let's get talking about what we've got going on in here. We've got the Grand Champion Gray Bull Drive. We have the Calf Champion. The Calf Champion is the Satterfield Ranch entry. That is a Mighty Mouse Sun. Our Intermediate Champion. Is the Joyce Custom Fitters? This is the this is um, uh, the Mr. Bardi M N Ghost Rider. We have the Heritage Pride of Maps in the uh, Before third I'm division, the on, I'm and then we have the V8 Bull in that series. And it seems like uh, a couple years ago, so many heard Miss Cindy talking. Red Farm, and, and that's no, and that was a night line high day again. You know, Red Farm. You know what I like about little Red Farm? He's a regular fella. You know, he wasn't no big time about him, but he, he, he was good at what he did. So I admire people like that, that are good at what they do and don't make it. You know, it's not a showboat, okay? And I just really like that. And I love all y'all from the Greek. Y'all know how much I look up to some of y'all. Y'all know how much y'all talk to me. And the ones that I'm talking to, you know who you are. And I hope I'm proud of you today and what I guess you show me. Because it means a lot to me. The thing that means more to me than anything is kids. I want y'all to know that. I ain't got none of my own, but I raised a lot of them. And I'm not going to say anymore because I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. And so, if I go far as God says, that's all I got to say about that. Now we're talking about that. I want you to know that I'm mad proud of what I used to do. I want y'all to know that I cannot be gone to. Because I like lots of love. You know, God says, I walk in search of pride. If I be lost, let the rest be lost with you. You ain't going to get to me. I'm going to call them like I see them. And I've done that all day. You know what's funny? I was saying down here, and y'all tell I'm a little bit more boastful than I've been a little bit. Before, but I'm like, I know it's like we want to think off today. He don't give a damn. You know why? Because he's honest as hell. That's why. And if he's one of my heroes too. And I look at the cowboy. Do they look like to you? Yes, they do. That's what I like. The one that wins the first class is one that's big bodied and mobile. And I like him a lot. And I call him winner, winner, chicken dinner. And he's still there. Be proud of that. I love that book. The bull that comes out of the second class is long body, he's level top, he's clean pattern, and he's athletic. And I like it. I love the power and body and the muscle of the bull that comes out next. He is mobile and he is good. He's the kind I like. And you've got a bull that's got the body and muscle I like. It's razor level top, he's perfect in his thumb. He sits down as about as nice as I've ever seen anything out of his hip in relationship to his top line. He's the bull I like best. So our grand champion is going to be um, Jim Williams with his uh, V8 bull that is a son of uh, 380 coming in for reserve consideration. Really nice bull that comes in second. Going to have the the bull like second best in the show out of the third division. And then we're going to have the Pride of Maddox bull is going to be the reserve grand champion. So thank you guys for watching. We want to thank all of the people who sponsored us. And we're just going to run real quick, right fast, through uh, 
some of our sponsors so uh, you can listen to them and hear them and thank them too for sponsoring us. Wherever you are on your ranching journey, we want to invite you to take a look at BRC and our operation and see if we can help you. Um, as seed stock breeders, our goal is that our customers have to be happy and be profitable in the business. And we think you're going to notice a difference when you work with Brandon and I at BRC. And we hope that you'll visit our website or give us a call to check us out. We want to thank Razorback Farm for being one of our sponsors today. IS Ranch Fitting Services. Make sure you visit with them. That's the Bishop family. We got to say that uh, Bethlehem is definitely determined and a driving force. So uh, she's a great person to show your cattle and get your cattle ready to go to the show. Great family. Can't say enough about them. Congratulations to V8 Ranch, home of champions. They sure showed it today. They had uh, the Grand Champion Gray Bull, then they had the Grand Champion and Reserve Grand Champion Gray Females yesterday. Want to remind you guys about the Bond Chase Landing Cattle. November 9th and 10th, they have a sale, and look at that. They've got some V8 genetics that they're offering. And this is a bull that is owned in partnership with Razorback Farm and V8 Ranch. This is Mr. V8202 over eight. Uh, we think he's a super special bull and he is being collected at Elgin Breeding Service. So visit with Razorback Farm or Elgin Breeding Service to learn more. AT Brahmins, they had a great sale last spring. They're gonna have another one this coming spring. So stay tuned for their 2021 show dates. Thank you to Mr. V8520 over seven, our good friend Manuel Amperon, Service Seam in Texas. He um, represents quite a few bulls and you should visit with him. This is a bull that has done tremendous in Mexico, but his semen is available both foreign and domestic. I asked Mr. Weeks 137. He was stood second in class today, but it was a very tough class. He's a very impressive bull. Uh, when you see him in person, he is just great. So go back, watch the video. He looks really good. They do have some semen opportunities. Don't forget to save the date. We're very honored to have Heritage Cattle Company, Team Heritage, um, is having all of their online sales with us this coming year. And they just had the Reserve Grand Champion Bull. So congratulations to their pride of Maddox. Congratulations also to j &L Cattle Services for the job well done. Um, that is Lana Hengskin and her husband Joe and Hengskin's brothers. That is JLCSHB Mr. Skip's Rhino 6 over 9. They have some breeding opportunities with that bull. Then, of course, Brahmin Selecto. We've got to say thank you to Brahmin Selecto for choosing us for your online auction. Heritage Cattle Company, like we were saying, they have some bulls. They just want back there celebrating, I'm sure, Reserve Brand National Champion. They have amazing donors. They have just tremendous worldwide, world-renowned genetics. They are the breeder of champions. And they are focused on the future with their junior program, as well as international consulting. They are customer-driven, family-operated. Cannot forget it is Team Heritage all the way. So thank you guys for all that you do. And then don't forget also we have the Hudgens sale. That is the J.D. Hudgens Select Replacement Heifers Tradition Sale online November 16th and 17th. Make sure you look at Cattle in Motion for that sale. Cattle in Motion. They have yearling beef type females. I believe they only have eight elite lots. These are top JDH sires represented. Don't forget the fall sale Cattle in Motion. Here at BRC we serve cattlemen and ranchers throughout Texas and the Gulf Coast region by selling Brahmin bulls, Brahmin females, as well as selling Brahmin semen worldwide. We realize that as seed stock producers, we must produce cattle that are practical, easy to maintain, easy to handle, as well as ultimately making the commercial cattlemen money. And of course we have Mr. V8 195 over eight. That's the red man. We really appreciate Hart VC Brahmins. They are uh, great friends. They have some great cattle. And for semen inquiries, contact Carrie Clay. 
or contact Manuel Ampron. This bull is doing a tremendous job. Um, he has semen all over the world now, and he has some progeny on the ground that are very impressive. I was out there and saw them. They're big, thick, beefy, and gentle too. So Mr. V8, 195 over eight, red man. Can't forget the HK featuring Dinah's Red Diamond Celebration online sale. Uh, Diamond, Dinah's Red Diamond Collection. So uh, Dinah Wild, our good friend, they're having an HK featuring uh, her Red Diamond Collection. There's going to be 20 elite Red Brahmins offered on Cattle in Motion. Cattle in Motion is going to be hosting that sale to set for second and third. Of course, our good friend down in Costa Rica, Genetic Costa Rica, looking for shipping and distribution of semen and embryos to Costa Rica, look no further than Genetic Costa Rica. That is Bullseye Ranch, V8 Ranch, uh, BR Catrere, JD Hedgens. You're looking for semen, you're looking for embryos, they know what to do, they can help you. So contact our good friends at Genetic Costa Rica. And of course, um, the Game Changers, I think that uh, probably uh, our good friend Stuart Watkins is pretty pleased today because he had um, sired his bull, the Maximus Bull, sired both the Grand and Reserve Grand Champion Red Bull. So congratulations to Stuart Watkins, and we're excited, looking forward to the sale. It is a one-day only sale, one day only, November 10. Don't miss out. Get ready to bid. And of course, then on November 10th and 11th, so closing the next day, we're going to have Butler Farms and J.C. Clem Ranch. So that is keep the quality up and something special. So Bert Clem, our good friend Bert Clem, has um, put up a gear bull that was a bottle raised bull. He was an orphan, and he is going to be giving that bull away to someone who uh, is one of the first 50 people to register. And then for every bid you make, you'll get an entry into a drawing that they'll have for that bull. So check that out on bestcattlesales.com and that will be November 10 and 11. And we're super excited about our Three Nations sale. That's November 15th. That is gonna be a historic event. There's gonna be 36 elite lots from the best cattle breeders in Canada, Mexico, and the United States. We're gonna be live and online in Mexico, first time ever to happen. Hopefully the internet will handle it and hopefully we won't have like a hurricane. Uh, but as long as none of those things happen, then we'll be good. Gray Brahmin, Red Brahmin, Gujarat, Gear, Nalor, Simital, Simbra, and also some semen offerings that are going to be really special and go to a good cause where they're going to be um, giving some money to some orphanage is so that those kids can have uh, beef to eat. Then our good friends 4N Ranch. We want to say thank you to Bill and Connie Nettles. They are always super supportive of what we do here at the Brahmin Journal. They have great Brahmin cattle. Uh, heifers, bulls. If you're looking for something, please give Bill and Connie a call. They've done a great job in their program. Um, as you can see, they, they win all the time. And so um, we haven't seen them personally lately because uh, of all the COVID stuff, but I'm sure they'll get out and start visiting soon. Schulte Cattle Company, they had a sale just recently with us and we want to thank them, but they also have a feed company. So they are ready for all your feed and ranch uh, raised beef if you need some feed if you want some ranch raised beef if you want great red Brahmin cattle great gray Brahmin cattle contact Schulte Cattle Company they had a good show here and uh, they have show and replacement heifers available and young bulls for sale at all times and of course thank you to our good friends over at Santa Elena Ranch the future pulled red American Brahmin uh, with this bull right here BL Rojo Mocho so give them a shout then we have the 2021 National Brahmin Show. Don't forget, that'll be next year, November 3rd through 6th at Fort Bend County Fairgrounds. Contact Reggie Rodriguez for sponsor and vendor opportunities. And I believe they're going to have a junior show in conjunction with that. So that should be super exciting. Cryogen, thank you to cryogenglobal.com for um, sponsoring us. Their services include bread reset program full IVF lab services, equine e embryo production, um, artificial insemination services. They have products you can buy. So visit their website, learn more about their program. And then of course we have um, our good friend Manuel Ampron we were talking about earlier. That is um, 
St. Cyr, Mr. Imperata, 3.6, over 290. That is a great bull. That's a low birth weight bull. You need to visit with them. They have foreign and domestic semen available. And that is a low birth weight bull. Of course, when you see St. Cyr in the name, you know it's uh, got to be performance. And then JDH, Mr. Alistair, Manso, 501. Semen is available. Our good friend Tyler Cohen at Boga Cheetah, he has this bull. This bull is producing polled offspring. You need to visit with Tyler. And when you do, visit with him about the Southern Brahmin Opportunity Sale. That will be hosted on bestcattlesales.com on December 3rd and 4th. Super excited about that sale. We had a barnstormer the other day. Um, and he has some other really great opportunities. And, of course, our good friend Matt Pounds. 2DP Pursuit of Perfection Christmas Classic online sale. They do a lot of fun things over there. He has some great genetics. He really is bringing it up to, to par. He has always had good genetics and he is knocking it out of the park. And then thank you and congratulations to Dietering Red Brahmins, um, breeding champions for over 40 years. Uh, this is DB Atlas, one over 328. They do have some semen um, availability on him. And also he was our 2019 international champion at Houston. And now, to add to all of their other long list of champions, they're going to add the fact that they have back-to-back -back 2019 and 2020 DB branded females, two different females. We had ICU win last year in 2019, and we watched Polly, the polled female, win here uh, yesterday, last night. So, thanks guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, you can watch it live on YouTube. Uh, anytime we do these feeds, you can watch us live on Facebook, YouTube. You can come back and watch us. Or if you want to buy a copy of the video for the whole show day, you can do that. Um, maybe give that to a family member so they can watch and feel like they were part of the show. Um, just contact our office. And 